Hello everyone. Uh, oop, game dog here, and uh, I've been I've been doing this for a little bit. I actually timed how long it takes to level up. Um, after just uh, after just like walking into a wall, and um, apparently the time is like maybe I think I think it was around like two minutes um, to raise the level by one. I don't know if this uh, if this number increases over time, but if if it doesn't, then this could be a really easy way to gain levels really quickly. So yeah, I might do that by the time uh, before the um, <laughs> I, I I I would grind to level 99 before the next case. Like I'm that kind of person. So <laughs> I just got to level 33 right now because I I kind of want to just get a move on. All right, so we're heading to the gym, I believe. All right. I'm running on the way here because, you know, of course, it, it takes a while to go. That's gotta be Kakechi's room, I swear. Oop. Got my hands on the wrong buttons. Alright, is this it? Is that a water tank? Whoa, this is even nicer than I thought. Hold on a moment. There we go. I had to move the microphone there real quick. What is going on on that screen at the top? That looks kind of weird. Uh... Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Yeah, it is. I didn't think you would have a real stage set up. Did you and Moko do all this? No, this would have been impossible with just the two people. I got others to help us. Kaido and Kibo helped carry equipment from Himeko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Karumi sewed the curtains. Everyone is so nice. I too it deserves all the credit. Ah, uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get credit? Oh well. I didn't ask for you to help uh, because I didn't know um, what you'd be useful for. Did you really just say that? Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Done preparing? You're not ready yet? The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparations. <laughs> She's shaking like a leaf. Okay. Hold on, I want to see what that is. Suspended water t Why are there, like, fish in there? A water tank. It looks like there are fish inside. Is this part of the trick, too? That's a, that's a dangerous number of fish to have in a small place like that. <laughs> what are you doing here? Ganta so sorry about yesterday. Ganta know, not know why he acted that way. Ganta too is forceful. Still have long way before Ganta call himself true gentleman. It's not your fault, it's Kokichi's fault for tricking you. Even so, I think you need to seriously reflect on what you did. Your gullible mind will eventually lead you down the wrong path in life. Ganta to be more careful next time. So what happened to Kokichi? After insect meet and greet, Kokichi's mouth started to bubble, then he passed out. I see, he might not make it to the show. <laughs> In all seriousness, I am actually starting to really worry about Ganta. Like, he seems... I'm starting to fear he might be the, um, the victim of Case 2. I still can't see him being a killer, but I can very easily see him being a victim. Himoku, uh, Himeko, are you a bit nervous? There's a dog barking outside. One moment. Huh. That's a neighbor's dog. She's usually very quiet, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's just someone across the street I don't think I've ever seen before. <laughs> just a little bit. Certainly doesn't uh, look like just a little bit. Because the magic I'll perform today is the extre Extreme Water Magic, Underwater Escape Act. I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. You've never cast it before. And today, in order to raise the stakes, there's a time limit. If you don't escape from the tank within the, um, within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. I'll be pureed. Your aid. This is looking like a, a little dangerous. The water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. You know what a normal piranha looks like? Those piranhas were in my research lab, and you said we should use them for the show. Wait, piranhas are too dangerous. Ah, Tenko. Himeko, please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're nothing like lasagna. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. You're going to kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Mecco, are you serious? You know, I'm starting to see Tenko like some of the other girls. Like, 
I'm not gonna lie, this is actually when the relationships between characters become kind of fun, when they actually, like, start to, to find, like, other people they enjoy hanging around. <laughs> There's no uh, way I can stop now, since is watching the show and all. There's no such thing as Atua. Angie has brainwashed you. You don't believe in my magic? Well, I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, because I'm a mage. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. Of course, I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Tenko. Ready, Himeko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? I said my prayers and went pee. Then let's get the show started. It's starting already, but not everyone is here. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaido aren't here. You know, I'm starting to worry about Kaido, too, because he's pretty adamant to come to stuff like this. I thought he'd be here for sure, especially since he helped set it up. I wonder if something happened. Oh, she still looks super nervous. don't like the music that's playing right now. Mr. Water, escape back. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. When the timer above the stage starts, Kimiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open. And drop in a school of piranhas! Oh my goodness! After the piranhas have fallen, and the curtain is opened, if by some miracle Kimiko has been doubled up, please give a big round of applause! Wait, what? Ja oh, okay, good. <laughs> is this gonna be a cutscene, perhaps? I'm concerned about Himeko. She's not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Gone to worry. Gone to have bad feeling. Atua, please protect him Himeko. Wait, what am I doing praying to Atua? That's Angie's shtick. Well, I guess you could pray to some other god. Well then, let's begin. The amazing Himeko's magic show. In her typical high-pitched voice, Himeko made her announcement and started the timer. Then she took a breath and took a dove into the water. Angie closed the curtain, obs uh, obscuring the water tank from view. We stared silently, waiting. I clenched my fist nervously, my palms damped with sweat. Gonta cried out, leapt out of his seat, and ran up to the stage. Is he gonna punch the glass? Oh! Wait, he read that line differently than how the um, text had formed. Huh, that's a bit odd. That sometimes happens in these sorts of games. They, like, maybe occasionally rewrite some lines. Hmm. Um, less than ten seconds remain. I don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out. The stress is bad for my heart. <laughs> She's already gone, isn't she? Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open and the murky water shadow, um, and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Hameko was swimming in. When Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. What? We 
Ryoma? Wait! Oh, here's the real question, though. Is that the next murder, or is that just a, pr a, a trick? It took a few moments for us all to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. Oh, dang. I was starting to like Ryoma, too. Oh! Uh Behold, a magnificent underwater escape. Huh? Oh, that is a murder. A body has been discovered. <gasps> oh, dang. I didn't think the magic. I actually did not think the magic show was going to be part of this. I thought they were just going to, like, do, like, a fake out death, but. Everyone, please gather in the gym. I don't know what to think of this. A body in the gym? Then when Himeko turned to look back at the water tank. Mm -hmm. Dang. Thin line divides heaven and hell. Alright, time for investigation, I guess. How is this orchestrated, though? For the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Those who weren't present at the moment sh uh, show at the magic show head head in yeah heard it and came running. Kaido, Kokichi, Maki. Okay, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know what happened. We should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. There are piranhas in it. Break it. Break it. It'll take a long time to drain by hand. But what would it even use to break? Ganta, Keyboy, uh, Keyboy, you're up. What do you mean, we're up? Ganta, throw Keyboy as hard as you can! Use that robot like a battering ram. Who are you calling a battering ram? Ganta, throw Keyboy. Got it. Then I'll help too. Wait! No way, just a second. I don't need to team up now. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> He's probably fine. The sound was intense. A wall of piranhas and water died red... Di yeah, dyed red with blood rushed out. We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, we made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. With Kurumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. What about the piranhas? Wait. Oh, God. Um, I'm... I'm surprised he's not covered in, like, bloody water. <laughs> I've gathered Ryoma's body and belongings in one place. Kibo looked depressed. He was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. He's been reduced such that he can be carried in, in, in one hand. It, how fleeting and fragile life is. Ganta put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all, bi uh, all got big tummies. Ganta think they're full. Today, Ra Ra yeah, Ryoma is fish food, and tomorrow he'll be fish shit. Don't say such things. Mecco, are you okay? This wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game has started again? How could this happen? We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. So that was all just a lie. You guys are liars. All you liars. Apologize to Ryoma. Um, yeah, Ryoma. Dang, he's dead and I don't even know how to pronounce his name now. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. You just, uh, disingenuous tears may mark, um, mark you as the liar right now. Oh, you figured it out? You've got a pretty good eye there, Keo. How- I, I'm- I'm pausing a lot because I'm just kind of trying to think over this. Like, how did this happen? Hey guys, how does it feel now that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Ryoma is transparent. Has my x-ray vision surpassed, uh, superpower finally awakened? Father, you don't have superpowers, he's just been reduced to a skeleton. Finally, I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. That means we can put all the boring crap on hold and start playing this uh, the blame game. You're ra you're raring to go, Mono. Who are you again? Monosuke. You should at least remember your own kids' names. Monofane, are you okay? Five, four. Are you counting, Monofane? What are you counting? She's gonna throw up again. I'm serious. Two. I'm gonna puke now. Ah, she puked again. What the hell are you doing, you failure? Listen up. We're uh we're here to make sure the killing game goes smoothly. Capiche? 
Also, um, to yeah, to keep my com to keep me company, a, a new mascot presents lots of exciting business opportunities. Shut up, you failure. What? Me too. Hey, hey, this conversation is fun and all, but uh, we should really get uh, get this over with. Don't uh, don't we need to start investigating or something? All right, I'll get the culprit this time for sure. Hurry up and give us the thingy. You mean the Monokuma file, right? I also investigated the cause of death this time, so re uh, so read to your heart's delight. This is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Yeah, that's totally unrelated. <laughs> Let's just use the Monokuna file to start a funeral service business. You know, how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death? If we pass out Monokuma files, even the worst deaths will get a giggle out of the attendees. Well, Pops, what do you think? You're freaking cute. Cute? The way you pass out files is just so cute. Why don't you come with me over here? Pops is gonna lick me all over. Wait, no, I don't want to see this again. Father's showing Monosuke all his love. You think... Did he throw that earlier? Huh. You think maybe Monosuke's right? Maybe Father doesn't uh, like us anymore because we're not uh, hostile and threatening enough. I think maybe I'll follow Monosuke. Oh, they sounded sad that time. In any event, let us begin the investigation. Investigation? So it's really going to start again. I can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Someone among us. No more. Ganto want to, no want to investigate friends. No want to suspect friends. Then don't do it. I'm not going to investigate either. Huh? You'll be um you'll be fine if you if um you're short. Yeah, you'll be fine if you're short a person. And I don't uh, doubt a child caregiver would be much help. Ooh. Wait, Maki. I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not going to investigate. That seems rather irresponsible. She's likely uh, uh, assumed someone else will take care of it, and I, su and I suspect she... Creative Cloud! You shouldn't be opening right now. Hold on. Okay, good. <laughs> She's likely assumed uh, someone else will take care... What the heck? Wait. What? What is that? I, I right-clicked the window and that thing popped up. What was that? I didn't get a chance to see it. And it's not showing up again. She like uh, she likely assumes uh, someone else will take care of it. I suppose she isn't wrong. It's not protect... What was that thing? I'm going to have to check that again. But why would she say that now? She participated in Rentaro's investigation. Although I suppose Maki has been acting strangely lately. I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What is she doing in there? Well, I'll have to talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. I'm seriously pissed off. We gotta do this, but it's our only, um, it's our only chance to survive. Yep, I'll do my very best, too. Ganta and I have, uh, to work especially hard so we can re uh, regain everyone's trust. Oh, yes, you're right. But we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. What? Ryoma was murdered during a certain little magical show, uh, magical girl's show, right? It's not her. That No, that's too easy. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. Yeah, but she's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. Yeah, but then again, she's made herself look not suspicious, so now she's super suspicious. Shut up already! How dare you toy with Himeko's pure heart? You say, um, you just said Himeko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. Shut up, Himeko would never do something like that. I know her best, right Himeko? No. But, pff, that's the part where you agree with me! Himeko, can you at least tell us uh, the trick behind the underwater escape act? If we know how the trick works, we can try and figure out how, uh, how the culprit killed. That's not possible. Not possible? Why not? There's no trick. The underwater escape uh, to the underwater escape because it's my magic. How long is that donkey left midget going to keep saying that? Himeko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's, pl it's uh, plain to see what we need your help. My answers won't change, no matter what you say. There's no trick to my magic, because it's magic. How long are you going to keep that bullshit up? Listen, if we don't catch the culprit, where That's enough. If Mecco says it's magic, then it's magic. I'll use my Neo Akaido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullsh uh, who bullies Himeko. It's not... I love that face. It's not... I'm not bullying her. It's her fault she's being so stubborn. You know, this actually got me thinking about something. Now, I'm actually a pretty big fan of Ace Attorney as well, and historically, my absolute... Some of my absolute favorite Ace Attorney cases 
are the ones that have to do with magicians because I find it super interesting to try and figure out how like magic tricks work through legal procedure. Like that's a super interesting concept to me in these sorts of games and I'm I'm kind of excited for this case actually because I feel like we're going to be doing something similar here as well. It's fine if you don't want to tell us, I'll just find out myself. Actually, that sounds pretty fun. To solve this mystery, you must first learn the trick behind Emeko's underwater escape act. We have no choice in the matter. He's right, we have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Rayoma. The investigation is to save all of our lives, because we're risking our lives in, in the class trial. Ooh. Alright, investigation time. I need to drink the water, one moment. Hmm. Hey, Suichi, you got a second? What's wrong? <laughs> Before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. You're my psychic from now on. My sidekick? I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. That's a good quality to have for an investigation. Plus, the only sta- uh, sta- yeah. The only stage fit for Kaido Mano and Luminary Star is the universe itself. So I'll leave the details to you. Pave the- Pave the path for my success. But I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry about it. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? So... I'll take full responsibility, since you're since you're my psychic, there's nothing to worry about, huh? Alright, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma file. Yeah, right. Kaido making, uh, making me a psychic like this. Could it be... I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if, if I re reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey, what's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file. Alright. As Kaido's on, um, behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. The victim of is Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. Hmm. He was only three feet tall. Now, I was kind of wondering about that, actually. <laughs> like, exactly how tall is he? The body was discovered in the gym. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Unlike the outline right there of the body, um, it's it, it typically the pink parts are like where the wound is, but because he was completely eaten, there's just nothing there. <laughs> it's just all pink. The cause of death was drowning? Wait, his body was consumed by piranhas until only bo- Hold on a moment, was he drowned to death or was he eaten? Because that's a very different distinction. No injuries can be confirmed at this time. Wait, there's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. The time of death isn't written here. Hmm. Oh, dang. When's the last time we saw him, actually? I want to say it was yesterday. Do you want to... You think there might be a possibility that he was killed yesterday and we're just finding the body now? I think that's happened before in these games, actually. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rentaro's time of death, correct? Yeah, I think it did. Library. 910. The Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate the time of death. Did Monokuma mess up? No, this was intentional. Yes, it was. Monokuma told us that he wouldn't give any information that would reveal the culprit. Thinking about it that way, it implies that the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. So that means the key of this case is the time of death. There you go, I knew I picked a good sidekick. There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. Ryoma's cause of death. Yeah, that, that interested me too. It says drowning, but if that's the case... Might be able to unravel the case from there. Okay, cool. Now that we're done with the Monokuma file, we can get started on the investigation. My first command uh, to my new sidekick is investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit. He's pretty commanding as I expected. Okay, there's a lot of people in here. Hmm. Uh, let's just go left to right, I guess. Ganta couldn't save him. G no, Ganta should have saved him. What's wrong? When Piranhas attacked Ryoma, uh, uh, Ryoma, if Ganta had dived into the tank, the Ganta could help Ryoma, but Ganta got scared. Too scared to do anything. Sorry, Ganta really sorry. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. And even if you had jumped in, they would have just eaten you too. And from what I read, the Monokuma file, you couldn't have saved him anyway, Ganta. Really, does it, um, does it say that in the Monokuma file? You haven't even read the file yet? 
No, Gonta not really understand it. Gonta not smart enough to be helped. What are you talking about? You've got you've you've got time to apologize. You've got time to read the file. If you think you can't help, then work um then work till you can. That's what you can do. That's right. You're a huge help. It's some information that only you know, after all. Information only Gonta know. Remember, during the show, you went up on the stage. That was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, right? Yeah, because Gonta worried about Himeko. Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himeko or Ryoma? No, Gonta see no one in tank! Gonta kind of surprised. Ah, you can't do that. We're still in the middle of the show. But if Gonta do nothing, Himeko get eaten. Huh? Okay, well, I, I was looking for this information anyway. But when the prizes were dropped at this curtain's open, Ryoma was in the tank, right? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Then why did Ryoma get in there? You didn't see it happen. Gonta dunno. Everyone see Ryoma and Tank when piranhas drop in. After that... Sorry, Gonta should have watched Tank better. Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Yeah, you're right. But this is a problem. Not even I'm more... Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Mecco disappeared, what appearance was part of the Underwater Escape Act, how did Ryoma get himself in the uh, get into the tank? Was that part of Mecco's trick? I'm positive that mi a mystery will be an important point to the case. Okay, that's an important. That's a really important piece of information, actually. Do I want to talk to you? I'm glad Mecco made this game more difficult. Now I won't be near nearly as bored. Time to work hard, solve the mystery, and get ready, culprit. Cause uh, here I come. Okay, good. Uh, Samugi. If Mecco doesn't tell us how the trick works, we won't know how Ryoma got killed. But with the way she is, how do we convince her? Oh, what if Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himeko's, master and vowed revenge on him, and he murdered a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage her show? Or something like that. It happened before, probably. Uh, no, not the ladder! Okay, fine, we'll check this first. There's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to step, uh, step up the show. Okay, Neo, what do you want? Hey, Flemwa, I, I always forget that's how you spell that. That's a weird word. Like, <laughs> that's something I need to t you need to tell me. That's not a very polite way to ask someone for something. It's got nothing to do with your with the incident, but I heard Gonta captured you guys last night. The hell was that about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Oh yeah, tell me too. I was also running, so I still don't know what what went what went on. How did Miu escape from Gonta? She's not strong enough to fight him. You slimy shit. Well, I suppose you could uh, you, you uh, could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Kiyo, Sumigi, Teko, uh, Tenko, and I. A uh, Sumugi. Himeko and Aji were brought in later. From the gym, right? Exactly, and Kokichi left the room after around 9pm. So they must have been brought in about 5 minutes before that. We were all forced to participate in Gonta's in insect meet and greet. We were freed uh, about, about an hour after, uh, into nighttime, around 10-11pm. So 9 to 11, everyone there had an alibi. And uh, then those people without an alibi are Kurumi, Maki, and Ryoma. Ooh. I see you've learned what an alibi is. Thanks for the previous instant. Thanks for the previous incident. What the fuck is this insect meet and greet bullshit? By the way, Miyu, how were you able to get away from Ganta? Well, I had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. Secret woman weapon. Wait, what's a secret? Wait, use your imagination, bro. Like, pff, is she trying to laugh it off? So, you, let's just leave her be. Listen, uh, listening to her will just tie you out. You're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the class trial. Oh, we're gonna learn more about that at some point, aren't we? Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. You know, I'm really concerned that Maki might have done it. Because, honestly, she was the character I wanted to learn most about more. Or, I wanted to learn more about next. <laughs> We got Angie next. I just want to talk to everyone and then, um, look at the crime scene. That's right, we need to ask Angie about the stage. I want to ask you some questions about the stage. I was in charge of all of the art. I even built and painted the stage. Then do you know anything about Himeko's trick? How it worked, perhaps? I don't know the trick. Himeko only said it was magic. I see. I suppose she didn't tell Angie the secret either. By the way, you asked other people to help you with the pre preparations, right? We started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped out. Like, when uh, we were moving the heavy tank in the stairs from Himeko's research lab, me and Kiba helped with that. The uh, the tank uh, he, uh, had a pulley, so because it was so huge, it was still a lot of work. And I also, and, and also, Kurumi sewn the curtain, uh, so the... I asked Kurumi to sew the curtains, because uh, I hate sewing. So basically, it's all thanks to Atua that the show is a success. No, it's because of all of us. Was it really success? 
By the way, were the piranhas your idea? Oh, it's, um, on its own, the Underwater Escape Act is no different from a normal magic show. I thought it would make the show more exciting and, and uh, divine if we used piranhas. That's what Atua told me. So Atua give, uh, gives you that kind of advice too, does he? And about the uh, the piranha tank and the timer, those are from Himeko's lab, correct? Yep, according to the piranha tank's manual, it was all synced up with the timer. <laughs> when the timer goes off, the bottom of the piranha tank will open automatically. I see, that means the most of the equipment came from Himeko's lab. And right when we finished the prep work and we're about to take a break, Gonta captured us, so we couldn't rehearse at all. When Gonta let, uh, let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't go back to the gym. Oh yeah, you can't enter the gym at nighttime. So we decided to come to the gym today, before the morning announcement. Himeko... Does it open at the morning? Hold on a moment. Himeko and I were waiting for the gym to open. Oh, I was so relieved the set was intact. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got here. What's up, Suichi? Are you worried because of this confusing incident? Could someone have hidden in the gym? Don't worry, it'll be fine. What? Atua has spoken. You have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Nothing can escape Atua's sight, not even the culprit. Atua is truly a divine force to be reckoned with. Angie is starting to sound more and more creepy. Hmm. I guess that doesn't get us something. Alright. Um. I just want to talk to... Oh! I just want to talk to Kurumi right now. You're helping set up the show, right, Kurumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I need another drink of water. One moment. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of sewing the banner and curtains, so I did not know the details of her trick. I see. Okay. Um... You know, I think I'll check these while I'm up here, actually. When I stood on stage and looked up, the piranha tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would open when the timer had reached zero. The bottom is open now and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though it had a lid. It can, uh, it can, uh, yeah, I can see the state, uh, the ceiling straight through. And, uh, only the front side is glass. The other sides are made of wood. So the piranha's tank had no lid, and only the front was made of glass. Oh yeah, the tank was from Himeko's research lab. Yeah, Kaido, um, hey Kaido, you helped carry supplies on the show, right? Yeah, me, Kibo, Himeko, and Angie were, uh, it, it was a lot of work. I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung it from there. It was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It couldn't have been easy to lift. It seems this is where the light, uh, the light, yeah, the lightning bat, lightning, lightning baton from the gym is attached. Uh, Kurumi, the control panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the uh, the baton. What's a baton? Hold on, I need to look that up in a second. It seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, then raised it again. I've never seen light, um, lightning batons were uh, were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. Since it was built uh, to lift heavy objects, it is probably quite sturdy. Okay. Hold on. This thing? Hmm. And it looks like the timer I can also observe. This is the timer that, that was counting down the escape trick. I didn't realize it was also a timer to reveal Ryoma's body. There are handcuffs in the tank. I wonder what that's about. Oh, there's a light panel right there. What is this? It's a control panel for the stage lights. It allows you to raise and lower the baton. Oh, I, I know what a baton is. I've never heard that word before, actually. I just called it, like, a like the light... I've never actually seen that word before. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised that's not evidence. What about the ladder? We, we examined this on the front part. Yeah, we did. Okay. Alright, let's go back down and talk to the rest of the people. Wait, what? Oh, there's still stuff here. Hold on. The curtain? There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other side. What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Uh, yeah, but it's too high up to reach, huh? Well, yeah, it is pretty high. Even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the piranha tank. That's right, there was a ladder next to the stage. I'll, I'll, I'll go get it. Doesn't that window connect to the, um... Yeah. Doesn't that window connect to the, uh, the, the, uh, the pool? 
Kaido quickly, uh, Kaido quickly headed off the stage. He returned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage over his shoulder. But you know, shouldn't the psychic be the one bringing the ladder? Yeah, I suppose, thank you. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed to the rungs. You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain... Oh, the window is open. If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? Oh. So what's on the other side of the window? The pool. I can't see much. Yeah. But I think it's the pool. The pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh, wait. What is this? Hmm? What's nothing? It just looks like marks on the window frame. Marks? What kind of marks? Uh, whoa. The window frame has 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 a distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. This might be related to the case. I should remember it. Interesting. Hmm. I climbed down from the stage ladder. You done investigating the window? Then let's go. Uh, let's go put the ladder back. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you, Kaido. Shouldn't the psychic be doing this? He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. <laughs> okay, cool. That's everything on top of the stage. We're all done. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. The next. Emeka would be next. The magic was supposed to make everyone smile. Don't worry. Everyone is smiling. I don't think any of us can smile right now. If it's all right, are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? We need to understand how your trick works if we're going to solve this mystery. There's no trick to my underwater escape act. It was magic. You're still saying that. Do you understand the situation we're in? No matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. But... Oh, your time's up. The Q&A session is now over. Unless you want to feel the full volcanic wrath of my Neo Akaido. Man, this, gu uh, this guard is more strict than the security um, at, at idle events. Okay, do we need to talk to Kaido? My first command is the, uh, to my new sidekick is... Yeah, we, we've done that. Um, Tenko. If Emeko says it's magic, then it's magic. Got it? Okay, we've talked to you. Um, Kibo. Although there are many unknown variables, um, the first thing we need to make it clear is, when was Ryoma murdered? Well, um, well, in the middle of the show, obviously. The culprit no- uh, no. I don't think that's it at all. The culprit knew how, um, Hameko's trick worked and took advantage of it, um, of- of it to kill Ryoma. In other words, everyone watching the show wasn't suspicious. Kaido, you didn't attend the show either, did you? No, but I'm still not suspicious. I forgot- I forgot a promise, so I was just eating breakfast. You got it? I'm not suspicious. I do not understand how that explanation is supposed to convince me. I love the sprite of Kibo, by the way. <laughs> well, what can you do? <laughs> Kibo does have a point. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and, uh, Kurikio. I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening at such a fun show. Why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act? Did they wish to see us in panic? No. I don't think that was a sole motivation. There was some other reason for it. And that reason must be related to Himeko's magic show somehow. So that means the culprit knew of Himeko's trick and made us use it, yes? If that's true, then d did Himeko tell someone? Someone who thinks the trick is actually magic? Since the show was used, we must investigate uh, the, the, the trick as well. Kiel uh, murmured almost to himself, then walked to the back of the stage. Is there anything to investigate backstage? Let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. We follow Kyo backstage. Is a backstage? Oh, oh, it's just that. I thought you were thinking like a room. <laughs> well, there's a rope. Let's do the tank first. The rope seems more suspicious. There's water on the ground. That might be important. There's nothing strange about it from, behi from uh, behind, other than the large size. It's a normal tank. All sides of the tank seem to be made of a special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. Very mysterious. How I wondered. Did Himeko escape from the tank? Well, if uh, we figured it out easily, uh, it wouldn't be a magic trick. I believe that um, if we figured out the, uh, the route Maheko took, we may discover how Ryoma got in there. That is true, there is a high probability that they used the same route. To reveal how Ryoma got into the tank, I need to reveal how Maheko managed to get out of it. I think that puddle has something to do with it. What, what's the rope for, actually? This is a pretty long rope. What was it used for? Yeah, I, I estimate it is roughly 65 feet in length. You can tell that by just looking at it. I am very well versed in rope. I once visited a village where they are, 
where their use was where their use was commonplace. Why is that worded so suspiciously? When it was time for me to leave, the woman in the village all begged me to stay. I find that deeply disturbing. Now I have to fo focus on the investigation. Anyway, what is this rope? Because this be related to the case? Might as well add as a truth bullet. Okay, we're not adding as a truth bullet. Okay. A puddle behind the staircase. This isn't a puddle from where, uh, when we broke the tank. The floor around is completely dry. Perhaps someone who was wet, uh, who was wet, was here doing something, changing wet clothes. But how would they get uh, from the water tank to the to the space behind the staircase? This may be a vital clue for understanding the underwater escape trick. Is the trick? Does that have to do with the sta staircase? Can you move it, perhaps? The staircase goes up to the top of the stage. Inspecting it closely, I can see that some places on the sides are wet. That might actually have something to do with the puddle next to it. I'm basically just about everything to do with the stage, but I still don't know how the trick was performed. How long are you going to investigate here? Uh, we still got to find the culprit, you know. Come on, let's go. Kaido. Kaido. Okay. So, we've talked to everyone. Um... We've investigated the light panel. Hey. I know we just saw it, but the window was open, right? Yeah, and the pool's on the other side, isn't it? Let's go ch check it out later. The culprit must have got in and out of the gym from there. In addition to that, the window frame... Oh, okay, we know this. Um, Near the water tank. It's a large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken and it's in bad shape. Do you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. Well, if we had left Ryan's body there, we wouldn't have been able to investigate. I guess it would have taken way too long to just empty the whole tank of a bucket. It was a lot um, It was a lot of cleanup, but at least uh, we can investigate the tank now. There might be clues around here. I should take a closer look. Yeah, you're right. Because we broke the glass, there isn't much of anything left in the tank. But we should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. Okay. I see a glass panel. Oh, that's actually what it's called. The handcuffs are found very curious. And... Ryoma's belongings. Well, this is the bucket Ganta put the piranha... <laughs> that's a very flat bucket. This bucket is full of piranhas. Ganta said he picked them all up. Um, He picked up all the piranhas and put them here. I can't believe Ganta would do that with his bare hands. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. When I think of Ryoma as inside their stomachs, I don't even feel like eating them. Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? Only the strong can survive this world that Atua has created. The least we can do is pray for Ryoma's soul, so that he may enter Atua's kingdom. Is it heaven or Atua's kingdom? Because I've seen you use both phrases now. <laughs> can he really go there looking like this? I was probably sure we're a, mir a mi miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos too. What are you talking about? I noticed it was a rise the show started. I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday than, uh, than we prepared. More piranhas? Why? What? Did they multiply overnight? There's no way they could just reproduce that fast. But compared to yesterday, the piranhas looked super crammed to the tank. Ah, so they looked more crammed together. The water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many more piranhas were in there. But anyway, it was super, super, super crammed. Gee, we get it. More piranhas than yesterday. There might be something to that. Okay? Huh. Well, I did mention that, like, you should never, like, have that many fish in, in a place that's small at once. Can we talk to re No, we can't. Huh, that's kind of weird. Um, okay. Let's do Ryoma's body and his belongings. Ryoma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now, not even a shadow of what he was. What the heck is this? Hey, is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the, mo the moment it happened, so I can't believe it. I'm certain of it. Remember. Everyone is watching the show. Witnessed it. When we saw Ryoma came nothing but bones. Damn. I can't believe he died in such a gruesome way. The water filled with blood so fast we didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. The skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. I know he wanted to die, but he didn't have to actually go and do it. No, I don't think that's right, Kaido. Ryoma wasn't trying to die, he said as much. He was jealous of us who wanted to live. What do you mean he was jealous? I'm positive Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why, um, that's why he needed a reason to live. So that he could have the same feelings we do, so he could have the same reasons to keep going. To fight alongside us. Then he was a real idiot. Who cares if, uh, if you don't have a reason to live? 
Can't your reason for living be something simple like good, uh, like good food or your friends? Damn it, that idiot. This uh, this level's going on a little longer, but my goal right now, actually, I want to get into the hallway so that I can grind for levels, and then that's where I'm going to end the episode. I think we're almost done here, anyway. Mio's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, the keys in his room. That's it. If we use the key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. What's his room to invest? What's in his room to investigate? The motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma got. They think Ryoma was killed because of that video. I can't say for certain, but we should check just in case. Although he might have uh, have had my video. If that was the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point thinking about that now. Might as well take it then. Okay, a curtain. Is there anything suspicious about the curtain? It's because it's been bothering me. What was the curtain for? It's in order to hide the water tank. When Himeko was performing her escape, this was closed to prevent us from seeing. Oh, so that's what it is. This is, um, is that, then is this some kind of clue? I don't believe so. I don't see anything suspicious about it. The glass. The fragments of the broken glass water tank have been piled up. There are so many tiny pieces. Gonta and Tenko certainly did hold, didn't hold back when they threw Kibo at the glass. I'm curious about this panel. Wait, why are there red bits in the glass? Oh, that's probably blood. Okay. There's a square panel of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece, so the other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for the broken wire tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. Then what exactly is this panel? It's probably an escape route for the trick. Yeah. And finally, the handcuffs. Handcuffs? Why are there handcuffs here? Still locked, and they um, there are small scratches on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so not too hard to scratch. They must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. What are those handcuffs? Were they in the tank? They were around Ryoma. I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where'd they come from? That's true. They weren't in any of the warehouses, so where did they come from? If they weren't in the warehouse, another uh, place that might have handcuffs is... He's a prisoner. Ryoma's lab wasn't in just the wasn't just for the tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. Wait, what? Did he mention that at all? Perhaps some elements of that was in his lab as well. Interesting. I guess we have to check out his lab at some point then. All right, that's what I want to see around the water tank. I think that's everything actually. I believe we investigated everything we need for now. Well, our investigation over um over now. So who's the culprit? I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. What? You still don't know? I never thought detectives' work would be such work. So where else we gotta investigate? The pool next to the gym. The connected by the window above the stage, so that needs to be looked at. We also need to investigate uh, Ryoma's room, Ryoma's lab, and maybe Maki's room? Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Ultimate Tennis Pro. I decided that the handcuffs were found in the water tank probably came from there. Is that everything? Last of all, the Ultimate Magician's lab. Oh yeah, 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 her room too. I want to know more about Hameko's trick. If we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. So we still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Suichi. After all, it's gonna um, it's gonna be you doing all the heavy lifting here, right? What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? Is um, is there a right way to respond to that? Okay. All right. So I think we're in the hallway now. Yep. Okay. And the hallway is an easy place for me to. Actually, hold on, let me walk somewhere real quick. I think you gain levels faster outside because, like, you run super fast. And we need to go- we need to go outside on the way to, uh, to the room anyway, so... Okay, good, I can leave. Okay, so it doesn't matter which order I- I observe these places in. I don't know if this actually makes it go faster, I'm just assuming it does, so... Oh, I leveled up again. Okay, good, this is exactly where I want to be. Okay, so I'll go back to my grinding spot. Um... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Okay, okay. That's where I'm going to be for a little while. Um, for the time being, though, I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching.